We get started tonight with a crime alert as police look for a killer in southeast Portland after an early morning stabbing. Welcome everyone to Coin 6 News at 6 o'clock. I'm Chris Holmstrom. And I'm Anna Canzano. This is an unfolding situation. That search extended at one point this evening to downtown Portland with police blocking off areas on Southwest 3rd, including right here at Coin Tower. And Jennifer Dowling, she's live in southeast Portland. And Jennifer, what are police doing to find the suspect? Chris, well, they're canvassing both areas where they think that he might be, but they're just not sure where he's gone at this time. He is on the loose. We're in front of the apartments where the actual stabbing happened here at 72nd and Woodstock, but they look for him this morning here after the stabbing at 2 a.m. He wasn't found. Then they headed to downtown Portland after a report that someone matching his description was down there. No luck there either. Police are looking for Tyler Knees. He's 30 years old, and he's accused of stabbing his father here at the apartment complex. Complex early, early this morning. Now, his father was uh, wounded but was able to run for help to one of the local businesses here, the Mount Scott Pub. So that's where he went. And some people who were still at the building, uh, who were still at that pub, were able to assist him. We're told they put some dry bar rags on his wounds and called for medics. And he was taken to the hospital, but unfortunately, later he died. We know the stabbing occurred here and the victim ran to a neighboring uh, tavern and asked for help. Uh, and that's what started the investigation. Now, officers conducted a neighborhood search here in the southeast first, but didn't find Tyler. Police say he's six feet tall, 190 pounds, with short red hair and blue eyes. He may be wearing a hooded sweatshirt. So, again, police are searching the southeast, also patrolling in southwest Portland across the river. So, a big search area trying to locate Tyler. If you see him, please say do not approach him. Make sure to call 911 instead. Back to you. A lot of ground to cover there for investigators. Jennifer, thank you.